Okay, I'm gonna make a short video here. What I'm doing is doing a lab experiment <laughs> with uh, mushrooms. It's called the uh, double extraction of uh, the different acids and uh, water soluble um, properties of mushrooms. So I have some lion's mane mushrooms that I had purchased. They're all dried out, which was great. That was one step I didn't have to do of drying them out. So I guess what it comes down to is there's what's called chit chitin in mushrooms. It's a large uh, structural poly polysaturate, I guess, that binds all the the molecules together on mushrooms, and uh, humans cannot digest it. So, in order to get the uh, the properties and the good stuff out of the mushrooms you have to uh, extract it by either the hot water method or the alcohol method and uh, with the hot water method your temperature should be somewhere around 160 degrees Fahrenheit up to 180 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, I have this stir stir hot plate that I use for different experiments that uh, that is obviously going to work pretty good for this some people just use a stove and try to regulate the uh, heat on the stove which is, is pretty hard to do but it's, it's hard enough to do on this but uh, I try not to have it go up higher than 180 because they they say that over 180 degrees Fahrenheit you kill off the vitamin C and other factors which you're not really looking for but if I'm trying to make a health product, I might as well uh, might as well stir this up. It's getting a little warm on the bottom there. Let's give it a little stir. So uh, yeah, if I'm trying to get the health properties out of the mushrooms, I might as well not try to ruin or damage any of the properties by raising the heat too much. So, this is the hot water soluble part. It extracts uh, beta glutine, glut gluteans, and uh, the alcohol part, it uh, separates the uh, all the different acids and stuff that are in the uh, mushrooms I guess I guess there's whole different properties that the uh, alcohol will pull out of the uh, mushrooms but the whole idea is supposedly you're supposed to well here I'll, I'll show you I, uh, I run it through a blender and make it so that it's very small that way there it's a lot easier to break up so the hot water extraction will it'll be easier for it to hit all the small particles and uh, it should uh, well 
make it easier to extract instead of having a big mushroom because I've watched a few videos and all they do is slice them up and put them in like a tea bag and put it through the hot water extraction well unless the mushroom has completely disintegrated how is it getting into the mushroom that's what I don't understand so I cut it up very fine now you can take this and submerse it in alcohol and just shake it every once in a while but it, it takes about six weeks for it to, uh, to roughly completely uh, how you say extract the uh, properties out of the uh, mushroom so I found out of an, another way of using one of these sonic vibrators and I just so happened to have one and uh, what I've done is put a certain amount of the mushroom powder in there with alcohol now the higher the alcohol content the better obviously but uh, I just had 40% uh, vodka here so that's 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 it, the bottom line, it has to have at least 40%, so that's the bottom line, which is 80 proof. So, uh, mainly all I'm doing is just letting that go through the sonic vibrator there, and it all kind of goes into the center because it vibrates into the center. So I just give it a little mix and let it go again. But the whole idea is uh, the vibration is moving the molecules of, of the powder and allowing the vodka to get around it a lot more than if you were to just have it in a bottle with uh, alcohol and shake it every once in a while. I just didn't think that method sounded... I guess it works, but it just doesn't sound logical to me. It's the same as different things don't sound logical to me. So that's why I'm doing it this way. With just a layer on the bottom, pouring uh, alcohol over top of it and letting the vibration vibrate the molecules and separate the properties, extract the properties out of the uh, mushrooms. So this uh, video is probably too long as it is so that's pretty well the setup here that I have going and it seems to be working pretty good I just turn on the uh, stir and that'll mix up all the uh, all the particles of the mushroom to allow the hot water to to hit them sort of idea instead of it just sitting on the bottom of a pot so I'm able to uh, get the stir to stir them all up and then they settle down and, and then obviously it's warmer on the bottom so they settle down it's warm on the bottom and then I stir them up again so this is my uh, double extraction of of uh, the lion's mane mushrooms. Everybody have a great day. Cheers.